Now, we got to get over to the hobby hat because what this is is last week we all put something that we enjoy doing in a hat. We drew it out. We had to do that other person's hobby. Up first, we're going to go to Lunchbox, who had to feed birds in the backyard. That's Amy's hobbies, birds. So, Lunchbox, what did you do for this hobby? Well, I actually went out in nature. I took bread down to the park because I was like, oh, you know, I see little birds in my backyard all the time. What can I get if I go out to the nature trail? So I took the kids, we took little pieces of bread, and we threw it, and we sat on a bench and watched. And let me tell you, we got a blue jay, guys. A Woo! Blue, yeah. That's fun. He came down, and he's just, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I don't know how you tell. But Wieners. They're wiener. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I didn't see a wiener, so, on the bottom. so maybe it was a female. <laughs> but so he start the blue jay starts eating the the bread. Then my kids think, oh, I'm gonna pet it. So we start we chased the blue oh. blue jay for about five minutes. And then we just had some ugly black birds that came down and ate the bread. So Amy, is that what you thought he would do, or I were guess, you hoping for more of a bird feeder type situation? Yeah, I mean, I think there's still time for that. I guess I thought he would set something up at his house and sit there and watch birds. But this works. It's like 20 he's, minutes a day. He's yeah. got four days left. He's still out in nature. He took his kids. He saw a blue jay. Mm -hmm. uh, what you need to do is you need to keep track of what you've seen and do like bird bingo. Well, you didn't say all that. Well, I, I don't know <laughs> well, what I mean, bird I'm is just, what. No, I I'm saw just suggesting. Jay. Okay, well, you can get a bird chart. Print it out on the internet. Well, you can hand, you can give them one. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll bring you my laminated one. Uh, Raymundo, our, our audio guy who sits in the glass room and pretty much runs all the sounds on the show, he had to take up the hobby of boxing from Morgan number two. And, and Ray, I saw on your Instagram, you put on some gloves and you had like a bag at your house and you just punched it nonstop. Is that pretty much what happened? Yeah, the uh, apartment complex has got a nice little punch bag for me and some gloves. I made sure I sanitized them. A lot of people use those. But it was awesome. I was basically <laughs> Logan Paul and I was just, I had my wife video me and I was just drilling that bag as hard as I could. Almost did have a little bit of an injury. One of the gloves flew off when I was punching so hard, but it, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Any chance you go to a boxing class and actually at least one class like Morgan does? Yeah, M2's got me going to one, so she oh, says... Oh, you that, are going to go. Yep. I'm doing it. Let's go. When are you going to the class? What day? Today. Oh, nice. So are you going to do the full class or just 20 minutes of it? Yeah! <laughs> no, they got me in. They said it's a full fight or whatever. Whatever we do, 45 minutes. Full fight? If it's a... Okay. Ray doesn't know, but we've got him boxing a human. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It is intense, though, so. Yeah, let us know tomorrow. Be ready to right. break a sweat. Okay, so there's Ray. Let's mark that off. Uh, Amy had to watch the Weather Channel, which you, you took Ray's hobby. Yes, and I don't. I have streaming services. I don't have cable, so I couldn't find the Weather Channel. So I went to Nat Geo and watched World's Deadliest Weather for a little bit. Sounds terrible. So you watched a channel. Yeah, I watched Nat Geo. They ha I watched a show about weather. I thought that that would kind of be the same thing because I couldn't find the weather channel. I don't know if through Hulu Live I have the weather channel, and it's not on, like, HBO Max <laughs> hmm. or Netflix. Ray, what so. do you suggest? Are you still stealing that guy's account from YouTube in St. Louis? No, he uh, he shut me off on that one. But, oh. Amy, what she did was actually fine because when there's not bad weather, they actually do that. They play extreme weather night. They'll, they'll just play TV shows that yeah, are all I about weather. I remember that about the Weather Channel, oddly. I thought, well, I, th I do think that this is the same thing because they do play dramatic shows about weather. So I feel like I'm good. And it was all about hurricanes. And then right after my weather show was Breaking Bobby Bones, it was perfect. What do you mean? What after do you mean? It. After I watched on Nat Geo, I watched World's Deadliest Weather. It and then the show, because it lines up for me what is on next because I have Hulu Live. And it rolled into oh, you just Breaking pick, Bobby Bones. You, just, you can pick what you want to come mm -hmm. on next? Yeah, it's like shows that I watch in my feed. And what, were you interested in the weather? Yeah I, yeah, I mean, it was fine. Hurricane Maria, Hurricane Irene. This one girl, I felt so bad for her. She was like a teenager. She's in charge of bringing in all the plants from her family's property because the hurricane was coming. Oh, oh I felt for her. <laughs> she was so young. Uh, Morgan, number two, you did diamond art. Eddie <laughs> likes to do diamond mm. art. What do you think? Yeah, okay, so I'm doing this, like, elephant painting, and I do not understand how Eddie has the time to do this. It is so tedious. You are taking these teeny tiny things that are, like, a, a pepper speckle size and putting them on this, this sheet of things. After about 20 minutes, I was relaxed, but I was honestly kind of stressed, too, because you have to be very, like, perfectionist with this art. So is this something like you it. could see yourself doing for years? I don't think I see myself doing it for years. I think it's oh. a cool hobby to pick up if you, like, really need some time to yourself and just need to focus on one thing. But 
I don't know. It, it gives me a lot of uh, my OCD is going all over the place. So I don't know if it's the perfect hobby for me to continue on. Eddie, you had to listen to my favorite podcast, the Razorback Daily. Yeah. I, I mean, I think the timing was probably the most terrible timing I could possibly have. Because the whole episode, and it's great because it's only 20-minute episodes. The whole episode was about the baseball game yep. that was coming up. And like I was like, ooh, this is exciting. I, I watched it at noon. The, I listened to the podcast at noon. The game was at 5. I'm like, let's go. And then I watched the game, and I'm like, dang it. This was not good timing. We were on camera. We were right behind the dugout. You mm. see us on TV? I did, yeah. And we were right behind, and then we didn't realize we were on camera, and it was so hot. The heat index was like 101. We were torched. And every, every picture people would send us would be us like going, <laughs> uh, fanning yourself just dying and then we lost it was terrible it is the terrible. yeah i'm sorry man uh, yeah four more days can't wait for you to hear today it's four more gonna... days yeah so i'm like i don't know how these guys are gonna like it's gonna be a funeral do four this days. it's gonna be terrible <laughs> i had to watch teen mom i'd never seen this show before so i watched season one episode one of teen mom that came out in 2010 so it wasn't 16 and pregnant and it's like you may remember me my name is Farah, And then she's like, <laughs> I'm in cooking school. I'm a model. Oh. I've also got a baby. And then I had to watch her go on a date with another guy who's a model. And she's like, you know, he doesn't mind babies, so we're going to go out. And they were sitting at a table. He doesn't mind babies. <laughs> they were, they were, they were okay. sitting at a picnic table, and she's like, so uh, you don't mind that I have a baby? And he's like, no, not at all. I think you're beautiful. And then she's like, yeah, yeah, you're right. And I'm like, what, what, what am I watching here? And then it's like this girl named Caitlin who they gave up their baby, and then they still followed them. Oh. They're, or they chose adoption, yeah. Yeah, and so they're like, we don't have our baby. but we're, And then what's weird about them is she and he have parents that married each other. Oh, yeah. I think I remember them. Yeah. We're and, going way back here. And then there's Amber Portwood, and she's like, I just want to go hang out with my friends, but my baby sometimes doesn't let me. What? And then we're hanging out, and the baby starts crying, and oh. then it brings everybody down. And then there's somebody else. Macy. Yeah. Macy book out. This show ain't for me, guys. I'll watch 20 minutes of it a day. Maybe I'll fall more in love with it later. I finished half of an hour episode yesterday, but I feel like a weirdo perv mm -hmm. watching this. Huh. I'm watching teen girls, and they're talking to And the baby stuff's interesting, because they're. but it just feels like I should. No, it's not for me. But I did watch it. I don't know that I'm invested yet, but I'll let you guys know tomorrow. Yeah, Lunchbox, I mean, any thoughts on my experience? Well, I think you got to give it a little more time. I, you only, you only, I know. You only gave it 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever, and you're going to get to know them and you're going to get invested. That's what happens is you start caring about what's going on in their lives. You want to see them do better and you want to you dream success for them, so you start getting invested emotionally. Well, so that, that was my teen mom experience. I'll, I'll get another <laughs> half hour or so in today. I'm really giving it a shot yeah. here. Are you excited to watch it, though? No. No, no. no. I feel weird watching it. I don't feel like I should be looking into these teen girls' lives like I Yeah, show. like, who got the short end of the stick out of all of us? Bye. Probably you. Yeah. What? No, teen mom's by far the worst hobby. Did I Caitlin just, watch it? No. Oh, that's the problem. She was, She'll love it. She was like, I don't want to watch teen mom. <laughs> it's a Bobby Bones show. Hey.